a Turkish teacher known as Ekal Hoka who has been providing online lessons to students, especially those preparing for nationwide exams amid government's efforts to shut down prep schools, via live video streaming application Periscope has attracted attention after the CEO of Periscope expressed his gratitude to the teacher. Kevin Bikpur, who CEO founded Periscope, an app owned by Twitter, said on a live Periscope broadcast that it was awesome to see the Turkish teacher, Mustafa Mitakal, giving online educational classes to students. Ekal, who has some 86,000 followers on Twitter, uses Periscope to broadcast live classes to hundreds of students, calling it an online Dershain. The teacher is a leading critic of the government for its move to shut down Dershain's a third of which are linked to the faith-based Gulen movement and is using Periscope to demonstrate that the authorities cannot prevent him from teaching. When he broadcasts his lessons, Hundreds of students on their phones or tablets listen to what is sometimes an hour-long class from the teacher, who teaches geometry and math. Speaking to today's Zayman, Ekal said, We have been in a lot of trouble for two years because of the government. If the Constitutional Court hadn't annulled the law seeking to shut down Dershain's, we would be unemployed after September 1. The government had promised to behave fairly and employ us as school teachers, but it didn't. I have been teaching for 20 years and have seen my students coming in first in the nationwide exams. However, I would have ended up being unemployed if things haven't turned out this way. Stating that he has been giving online lessons since 2006, Ekal added, after I couldn't give my website for online lessons much attention because of the latest disturbances over the law to shut down Dershain's, I thought about how I could use social media to educate people. At first, I posted geometry notes on my Twitter account. Later, upon seeing Zayman Daily columnist Sevgi Akarsas May's Periscope broadcast, I discovered Periscope has an application for smartphones and I tried to give lessons with a cell phone in my hand. Since then, I have been giving lessons every day. Yesterday, about 1,500 students were watching my broadcast on Periscope. Thanks to our sponsor, the NT book and stationery retail chain, every day we give a student a book as an award for answering certain questions correctly. We also organize reading activities starting at 5.30 a.m. so that students can make full use of their time. Students take a picture of the book they are reading and tweet it while mentioning me. I retweet them. Between 30 and 40 people attend these groups. We also arrange live broadcasts with well-known people. We did one with Akar Sesme, TV show host Murat Yeni and an engineer working for Twitter Brahim Okuyaku, he adds. Akal says the atmosphere of the online class is very different from regular classes. Students from all across Turkey are watching and commenting on the Periscope broadcast. Students like talking and learning at the same time. They also motivate me to teach more eagerly. Referring to the government oppression of prep schools, Ekal emphasized that doing something useful makes him feel better about the situation. Both students and their parents are worried about the situation. After the Constitutional Court's decision to annul the law to shut down Dershain's, a parent called me and said he is in fact more happy than us Dershain teachers because he worries about his child's future. Students of the Corfez Prep School where I'm working rank among the highest in nationwide exams every year. If Dershain's are shut down, all our hopes and efforts will be in vain. We have done nothing wrong. We are hoping for better times, Ekal underlined. Tomorrow we will conduct a broadcast on Periscope with a Turkish engineer from NASA. Things are going great right now. I hope they remain this way, he added.